The official release of Uncle Drew will be Friday nationwide with Reg C. Webb, Kyrie, Shaq, Nate Robinson, Lisa Leslie. The world premiere of the film tonight in uh, New York City. So uh, one of the stars along with Reg is Chris Webber, who joins us now. C. Webb entering the man cave. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Preacher! Preacher! C. C Webb looking, <laughs> looking get clean. Get a crew song. What's up, brother? C Webb looks like he could still play. He, he yeah. got to fake it, got to fake it. How you doing, baby? Hey, good to see you. C Webb still has the guns. Look at the guns. Oh, I know. C Webb. We got the scowl going. Got too. A, look, look, a tight shirt on or something, yeah, it's man. Medium. It is kind of a look medium. at you. Look, look, look. I can't even get my fingers on that when your wife dresses you. <laughs> wow, looking good. How much sleep for you last night, Chris? Uh, no. Pull that microphone close oh, to you. Perfect. Uh, See, he yeah. wasn't. He wasn't in LA. Yeah. Oh, no. you didn't have to do the red eye. No, 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 oh. I didn't. I didn't. But my uh, I had a great uh, delayed flight for six hours, so I stayed in the airport, met some nice people, had some uh, nice beverages in the airport for about six so hours, and got here. So you didn't get a private jet like Reg and Shaq. Oh no, no, See, no. You have you to be. You have there to be. You know. You go. You have to be California's Don't finest Hall wow. of Famer. Don't yeah. start that. Yeah. You, know? you have to be Reggie that. Miller to get yeah. that. Buddy, Shaq is the one that got got it. Oh, for Shaq it. had the PJ. It was his cache that got oh, okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine sitting next to Shaq on a plane? Like if you Hold all on. of a have sudden, you, have like you seen in him with that with with his his DJ stuff. Yeah, no, first of all, he's too loud. And secondly, have you guys seen the Andre the Giant documentary? Yeah. <laughs> you remember Andre on the plane? <laughs> are you I know Shaq's making a lot of money doing a lot of things, but are you surprised he never went into WWE where, you know, he could be like uh, Brock Lesnar, but I mean full time. Yeah. Where you just he, he looks like Coco Beware a little bit. <laughs> 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 uh, by the way, Reg good. said you were great. He said, as far as acting went, you're too tall to probably be an actor full time. But he said you were great. Why am I too tall to be? Actor I don't know. That's time? what I didn't why, say. Why, it was why, too tall. Like I you're six ten. Six ten actors. Yeah. And then he said probably yeah. not. I said you would be an outlier. Yeah. So I said you're the 6'10 Denzel Washington. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Denzel's at home like, please, don't mess up. <laughs> it's not like, you did you ever take phenomenal. any, did phenomenal. you act in a school play or anything? Uh, no, no, no. I uh, I took, well, I did. I, I think I was, no, that was a long time ago getting to that story. But I, I worked uh, I worked hard at this and I had a lot of fun and I knew some friends that I were actors and I, you know, I've seen you and you know, in your great Adam Sandler oh, movies. Absolutely. You know, I took a that's little right. inspiration from that's the guy right. over here. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, gain inspiration. From that's you just know. game recognizing game, right there. That's what that real. is. <laughs> but, but okay, but who did you talk to about acting? Uh, I talked to to a couple of uh, to a couple past actors, but but what helped me the most, uh, Dan, was that I played a preacher and a basketball player. It's nothing. <laughs> I grew up in church, so really, my father and a bunch of preachers are going to hate that I that they know I use their cadence and the way that they talk and spoke. And so I really just uh, went to church and uh, thought about uh, growing up in church. And, Phenomenal uh, people. And I tried to uh, recreate those moments. Was your dad a preacher? No, he was a deacon. Okay. Oh, you know, let me just say this. This is real cool. In the there's a segment where I preach. And then this is cool. My father's dream was to be in a movie. Like, to be in a movie. That was his whole dream. I've had charity events, and he's, like, trying to slip money to be the one in the movie. And I just asked these guys, and thanks to Marty and the producers. And so in the scene where I'm preaching, my father's sitting right next to Lisa Leslie, like, jumping up and down. And the baby that I'm dunking is actually my daughter. And so uh, it was like a family affair. It was cool, man. So when there's a baptism scene. Yeah, there's a baptism scene. And that's your daughter. That, that's my daughter. Yeah, that's my family daughter. Affair. Family affair. Family yeah, affair. I love so, that. Yeah, it was cool. Oh, man. I love Good that. Movie. Good movie. Uh, and then Reg said that there's the possibility of a, a sequel. <laughs> Where? <laughs> yeah, you really, really, you bring really. that up, man. Wait, didn't you guys hear that? Yeah. yeah. You said, is there a possibility that of a sequel? Yeah, get the business right, Reg. <laughs> yeah. Well, how much does makeup? How long? Oh, how many hours? Man, you know, we got no, they're going to have to up the price. Oh, yeah. Three hours of makeup, See, it's, Monday through Friday. That's bad. Yeah. Three yeah. hours bad. of makeup. I don't know what a diva is, but I'm a diva after <laughs> three hours of makeup because I'm not doing it no more. No. <laughs> Once you get through the three hours and it's time to actually work, we had so much fun. Yeah. But sitting in that chair for no, three hours. Death. Yeah. That was but Reggie's in shape, so during the movie, he's shooting shots. You know, Reggie rides bikes up mountains, and he's going to the Olympics for riding. The rest of us, we were hurting, man, like getting massages on the set, back hurting, knees hurting. It was like... You wouldn't be able to tell. Oh, yeah, you we wouldn't all... be able to tell. But, yeah, we now, Kyrie didn't get hurt on the set. 
And that here you go. First wow. it's Vince Harden and Triple A. Now, now you're did, saying did Kyrie get hurt? Oh, you mean hurt his knee at that one yeah. part? See? No, 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 no. Inside no. information. No, no. he no. did not he, get okay. hurt. Okay, Fred, my job is just to ask. He did not get hurt on the set of Uncle now, Drew. Inside information. But we did know he did get traded, traded on the set, right? Oh, how was that? We were on the van. You know, the, this was this was fun. This was awesome. This so was we're getting cool. ready to do a scene, okay. and we are all on that. We're in a hot van. Hot, it's hot. hot, hot it's hot. Van. It's crazy. And hot. we all have our phones on us, right? <laughs> the director's getting ready to say, you know, lights, yeah, camera, yeah, yeah, action, right. and everyone. Everybody's phone just started start going bro- off. <laughs> so we're like, yeah, I look at Chris. And we have our phone, by the way, doing yeah, the whole yeah, We know we are supposed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's yeah. like, yeah. as if the cameras can't see us. And I look at Rich, and I'm like, and Kyrie's sitting here. And we're like, did you, <laughs> did you know about this? Wait, Kyrie didn't have his phone on him. No. No, no. He was the professional yes. one. But he, he ran out and got his yeah. phone. <laughs> <laughs> when we showed him, he... <laughs> He he seemed happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, seemed, he knew something. Yeah. He knew something was going to happen. We were surprised that it was Boston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But what did you say to him? I was like, "Dog, did you see this?" <laughs> and and he looked, and Reggie kind of said the same thing. And I think his brother came out for full disclosure, and he was just yeah. like, "Hell yeah!" and ran out the the van and left us in there. Like divas do. The star of the movie just left us there hanging because I guess he had business to take care of. So then he left for a little while. Probably had to make a call or two. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We we had an extended (laughs) extended lunch. We had an extended lunch so he could sort things out with his agent. Yeah. And uh, he came back all smiles, and we were like, okay, and he's like, it's official. Yeah. Now, I did hear that Kyrie Irving beat you in a shooting contest. Pop a shot. Was it Papa Shot, C Web? Papa Shot. I mean, that is at Dave and, that at is, Dave and Buster's. That is shooting, though. That is. But here's the thing. Kyrie <laughs> said he challenged and beat Reggie in a shooting contest. Oh. He didn't challenge. He, he said Reggie kept saying that he was still trying to get loose. So I'm going go <laughs> to go to Chris. I'm going to go to C Web here. Because Reg doesn't lose too many shooting contests. No, he doesn't. And he never admitted if he did lose. He would not. Did Kyrie Irving beat? He did. The, he did. I'm going to say he Okay. But, to my defense. Oh, here we go. I just wasn't warmed yeah, up. Reg, it, it, does, it takes Reg a good hour and a half to get warm. It used to be 15 I, minutes. I had no bike on set. Yeah. I couldn't get my legs wow. warm. You know? So Kyrie, Kyrie took you Papa down. Shot, he Why, busted him up, too. Y'all just, first of all, Kyrie's 25. Reggie had the form and everything. Reggie was serious and just but I was, <laughs> in and out, in and out, just, you know. But then after after he lost to, you know, Kyrie, he had about 30 in a row from Papa Shop. We just he got warm too late, that's all. Did you guys ever have any friction when you played against each other? I didn't have friction with him. I had friction with Vlade because Vlade was the instigator. He, he was always talking and flopping. Me talking about flopping. Yeah. <laughs> but flopping. So I, it was Vlade that I had problems. I never had problems with C-Webb, especially those great Sacramento teams. But, yeah, I, I, was, I was a big fan of Reggie, but I didn't like him. Because he was always beating our teams, you know, like he was the catalyst. You know, I knew he was the one's gonna be talking junk, getting in the guys, and so he was a guy like you always wanted to play with. But when you're playing against him, you just hate him. He's talking junk. You saw what he did to the Knicks. You see him kicking out. This is the human kickstand. I've named him because <laughs> when he shoots the three, all that that leg stuff that he complains about when we do games. Yeah, yeah he he might have helped because invent all that. We were just talking about Dirk Nowitzki. Should that be legal? That he lifts that knee up. And, I mean, it, so he creates separation. He's seven feet. I mean, it's, he's unstoppable when he and gets And Durant has yeah. it now. Yeah. 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 But he can't do the knee. If, if I'm up on Reg like this, you can't just knee me. So you already have to have that space. So Dirk, one of the greatest scorers ever, he does that after he has the space. So it's not as unfair. He's maybe. not creating the space. He's just keeping the space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's not giving you the knee and pushing off. You but, know. but Reg used it as a weapon. Oh, yeah. Oh, or he would <laughs> I, I trip used to you. love yeah. tripping and leg whipping people. I used to love. <laughs> leg whipping. Oh, God. I, it was like a joy to me. I think you going to run out again. here? I'm going <laughs> to trip oh, and It was the best. But then you would draw the foul, yes, too. Yeah, and look at you, dummy. You oh. big dummy. <laughs> and then he'd, he'd go there. How many times did you bounce the ball? Seven or Six. 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 And you can bounce the ball and then get real low and hit the free throw. It, it, it really Go get pissed us off. Yeah. Go All back. this pageantry <laughs> while he's doing it. Let alone he comes out doing a Michael Jackson, you know, every game. <laughs>
<laughs> but Vlade probably created a lot of situations oh. that his teammates had to clean up for, right? Now, let's just think about it. The flopping <laughs> came in through the European player. A thousand percent. Why? You see soccer? Yeah. <laughs> you see this stuff in soccer. This is the worst flopping in the world. <laughs> yeah. With Vlade, Sharoon. It's all these guys brought it over because during practice, they're actually playing soccer. So they brought that culture over. And Reggie did it where, you know, maybe you bump him once or twice in the third when it's a fake flop. sell it. These guys would just come over to you. you got to sell it, right? You got to yeah. sell it. And I would always say to Vlade, man, we got to chill with the flopping, man. We're not going to get respect. <laughs> with Shaq coming in, now they don't know if it's a charge. Vladdy would have played for Duke. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah. we're going to take a break. Uh, C. Webb and Reggie will uh, stay with us. Yeah. Top of next hour. Chris Weber going back to Michigan. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, we hey. got to find out about that. Yeah. Hey, I got hey. questions myself about yeah. that. Yeah, questions you're going to interview yeah. and stir the problem. I want to, hey, it's about time. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.